Hey, man, this is AJ. Uh, I got a question for you. Where do I find all these residential code requirements? And what the hell are the model codes? I'm being told I cannot use the IRC or the IBC for my project, and I just purchased these two expensive books. Just call me whenever you can. In the state of California, similar to most all other states, building codes are updated every three years in what is called a triennial code cycle. And at the beginning of next year, an updated version of the California building codes will go in effect statewide. In this video will be the first of a series where I will present a brief overview of the California building codes, chapter by chapter, and other information that should help with solving the building codes riddle. This video also harmonizes with the history of building codes that is located in this channel. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. And regarding the three year code cycle, quite often I am asked why building codes change every three years and why not every six years or on an as needed basis. And to be honest, I have not dove into that rabbit hole yet, so I can only speculate, but I do welcome your comments on a three year code cycle. Should building codes change every three years or six years? or perhaps on a as needed basis. I will begin by first clarifying that building codes are not state law, as state law goes through an entirely different process that involves the Senate, Assembly, and the Governor. Building codes, on the other hand, are a set of regulations that incorporate standards. And to put the comparison in a perspective and tie it into this topic, State law sets the mandate that all existing and new buildings and structures in the state must adhere to building codes, officially known as building standards. And the building codes are one of 28 regulations that are under the umbrella of the California Code of Regulations. And each regulation or titles serves a different purpose and is applicable to a variety of other state agencies. Title 24, however, is reserved for the California Building Standards Code. So essentially, Title 24 Building Standards Code is comprised of all the California building codes. One notable item I will point out is that the public, for the most part, has unrestricted access to all California regulations except the California Building Standards Code. Now, the reason for that is that seven of the 12 California building codes are based on copyrighted model codes that are under the ownership of three private organizations. Furthermore, state law establishes the California Building Standards Commission as the lead agency to oversee the development, adoption, and updates to the California Building Standards in collaboration with multiple state agencies. I will now rifle through a few activities that take place at the state level leading to the publication of the California Building Codes. To start, the three private organizations also update the model codes every three years, and the updated model codes are usually published following the statewide effective date of the California Building Codes. After the model codes are published, the California Building Standards Commission, together with the state agencies, review the model codes to determine if adoption of the model codes is appropriate for the state of California. We'll move on to the next agenda item, Code Adoption Committee. This is agenda item. And during this review period, the state agencies also assure that standards specific to California are carried through and incorporated into the model codes. The state agencies also verify that the adopted model codes will not conflict with the other building codes, including verifying for conflicts with federal and state laws. One example are the aging in place design and fall prevention requirements that are new to the California Residential Code. Those requirements are not found in the International Residential Code since the aging in place provisions are specific to California and they were created as a result of a Senate bill. And to close the loop on a comparison I made between building codes and state law, to be clear, when building codes are properly adopted, they have the same force as state law. However, there is still a difference in that violating a building code requirement is likely not going to put someone in San Quentin State Prison, whereas violating a state law could. But I also present the difference for those of you who want to become active in these affairs. Then it is important to know first if what you are trying to influence is state law, regulation, or a local ordinance. 
as each have a different method for making change, and they are all open for public and input. I, I really want to emphasize that if the people who are being affected are not in the room and their voices aren't heard, then who are we writing the code for? So this is, you know, the fire code. I got all the codes, and they're like this big to build a building. I, I read the amendment. I'm concerned about they're changing it, so you have to put fire sprinklers in no matter what, no matter the size. Motion passes unanimously. This is the first reading of an ordinance to adopt the 2022 edition of the California Building Code, California Residential Code, California Electrical Code, California Mechanical Code. This big to build a building. California Plumbing Code, California Energy Code, California Historical Building Code, California Existing.